Welcome back to my channel. This is my first get ready with me video ever because I thought I don't have time to make a video this week, but I do have time to put on my makeup. So why not make a get ready with me video and do a life update all at the same time? This is my natural face. I'm starting with these like de-puffing things. Uh, Peace Out sent me random happy mail at my PO box and I've been using these eye de-puffers that they sent me and they've actually been great because I'll get to it, but I never sleep anymore. Uh, yeah, so I'm no beauty guru. I'm gonna put on my makeup. I'm just here to uh, give you a life update. So, here's what's been happening. Where to begin? Well, Zion's really sweet. If you wanna see Zion, you can go over uh, to Instagram. I share some about him there, but there's like weird things going on on YouTube when kids are in your videos. And I don't want comments disabled for my videos because I like talking with you guys. So, you can go over to at mwells. Zion turns six months old this week. Can you believe it? I feel like we were just waiting for him to come into the world and Daniel and I were like dying to see what he looked like and I'm like oh my gosh now he's lived with us for six months. Herein lies the problem. He's six months old and when he was four months old he hit the four month sleep regression and since he hit the four month sleep regression First of all, no suggestions, please. We're working with very trusted people on his sleep problems. Um, once he hit the four month sleep regression, he hasn't slept more than two hours at a time ever since. It's been so, so hard. Again, no suggestions, please. Not that I don't trust your wisdom or your expertise, but we're just working with people who know him. Um, he's very agreeable child. He's not waking up screaming. He just wake, wakes up wanting to play and have fun, which is normal for babies because their sleep chunks are two hours. Oh my gosh. So I am utterly and completely and totally in sleep deprivation mode. But he's so sweet because he smiles all day long, all day long. He laughs and he smiles and he has fun. So that kind of makes up for the nights. This is like my favorite powder ever. It's Makeup Forever Pro Finish. I bought it for my sister's wedding a couple years ago and it is really the only really nice makeup um, like product that I invest in. It's like really good quality and the, it's almost $40. I don't buy other expensive makeups, but the Makeup Forever powder, so good. Daniel's been so amazing, so amazing with these sleep issues that we've been having. Oh my gosh. He makes me lattes, he draws me a bath. He's like so supportive and loving. He goes to Zion to help him. Um, we have like so approached it as a team effort and it's been quite fruitful actually. Um, marriage has been going great with Zion in the mix. Daniel and I, like we rarely ever fight. We just talk about things. We just talk and talk and talk if we need to talk about things. But um, we're both very easygoing people and um, have a lot of teamwork that goes on between us. Bringing Zion into the mix of our marriage has not been that challenging for us. It's just been the sleep thing. So, yes, we're working on it and we're hoping it gets better, but it's been really, really, really hard on me. Uh, that's real talk. Let's see, what else? I've been struggling a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot with feelings of insufficiency. And you might know the feeling. Like, I'm not good enough for any of this. Someone could be a better wife to Daniel. Someone could be, you know, a better mom to Zion. Someone could, you know, speak better things to all of you, all the women that I reach. Like, someone could do a better job of this whole thing. I think it has something to do with the sleep deprivation. Um, you know, because it's really easy when you're exhausted. I mean, like I, last week when we were getting out of the car to get a mask, I forgot to turn off the car. Um, when you're exhausted, it's really, really, really easy to, I think like fall to discouragement and fall to um, the lies uh, that like tend to creep into our lives. You're not good enough. You're not, you know, anything enough at all for anything of the any, like any of the roles in your life and that's been hard that's something i struggle with it, like i've struggled with in and out of so i've just been giving into so much discouragement and having to fight back with the truth to say no like i like if the lord has called me to this if he's called me to be daniel's wife if he's called me to be zion's mom if he's called me to share my heart and encourage all of you like 
I need to own it and I need to take ownership of this season of my life. I need to take ownership of the roles that God has me in and that's really, really important. So I've been doing a lot of like fighting back against these lies, which is hard work and it takes a lot of intentionality, but I realized I had to because I mean, I've been feeling just so beat down. I use this bright yellow one from Maybelline Colossal. It's my favorite. My eyelashes are insane. Uh, so are my sisters. We all have crazy, crazy eyelashes. Uh, yeah, and I just, I've used this mascara for years, years and years. Voila. I'm trying to figure out my travel schedule now that Zion's in my life. People are already calling to ask me if I'll speak at their events in 2021. So we're trying to figure out what that looks like. It is not easy. I'll probably be going out just once every month and trying to make it just one night away because I love, love, love speaking at events and women's conferences and things like that. It's like so fun for me. Um, but figuring out that with my new role as mom, because wife and mother come before anything, um, has been interesting. So Daniel and I talk about it and we just try to figure out like what works for us, what doesn't work for us. Um, yeah, but it's hard to plan that far in advance. Like what is life going to look like in 2021? whatever God wants. So yes, we're trying to, I'm trying to like figure out what that looks like and what I want and what's best for me. Um, like with my health and my well being, Um, and obviously what's best for Zion among everything. Um, oh yeah. Also I had problems with my teeth. This was really discouraging. Um, I got scammed by a dentist. Beware of dental scams. Legit. I got scammed by a dentist, which was horrible. They didn't do anything to my teeth, but they just like told me I needed three root canals and all this craziness to try to scam me. And it was awful. Then I left and went to a more trusted dentist. So I've been having dental issues. I've never had good teeth. I don't know if you're like part of the not having good teeth club. Like, yeah, they're like fine like this. I never had braces, but cavities are a real problem. Uh, so that was really bad. Dental scams are a real thing. And I didn't know the extent of it until I was scammed. Excuse me while my eyes roll out of my head to the other side of the room, honestly. It was awful. Sephora lip stain, marvelous mob. I went in and I was like, what color would look good on someone? Cause they have like 95 colors. And the lady said, marvelous mob looks good on everyone. So that's the one that I bought. And I really, really like it. This lip stain is amazing. Cause when I'm speaking all day long, it lasts for so long. So this lip stain has been so good to me. And sometimes I, I got um, a couple lighter ones and sometimes I'll mix them together for a lighter shade that I really, really like. So there you have it. That was easy. So that's what's been going on over here. Being a mother is the most wonderful thing and I love it so much, but it is so challenging and it's so hard to explain to someone, right? Like I have this baby and I'm like, it's so hard, but it's so beautiful. And I heard women say that all the time. They're like, being a mom is the hardest thing, but it's like, so the greatest thing all at the same time. And I never really understood that. I mean, I like lip seen on my teeth. Um, I never understood that. <laughs> I so get it. I'm like, dude, it's like so challenging, especially right now with sleeping two hours at a time for two months straight. But just like taking care of him morning, noon, and night is like presents its own set of challenges and his development, right? He's six months now. So he has to like do solid food and be sitting up and, and, and be like transitioning out of like different things for his sleep. And it's like, oh my gosh, there's so many things. You think you have it all figured out. And then he goes into this new stage of his life where you're like, oh my gosh, I can't just nurse him. Like I have to like go and buy food and figure out like how to do that whole thing. It can be really overwhelming. And I think that's been part of the hard part too, is just like the overwhelmingness. Like, and there's so many people with so many different opinions of what you should do for your baby at this time and that time and that time. And it's hard to figure out like who knows best. And so I'm going mostly with like reading, but like also my instinct as a mom of like, what do I feel is best for my baby? Cause like not, there's not one baby that's the same. And I know my baby cause he's, I've been without him for like <laughs> maybe 12 hours of his life. Um, so I know him well and I'm trying to trust my instinct, but it's easy to get so overwhelmed by the new things that you have to be doing and doing and doing with them, especially in the first year of life. Woo. So I'm taking it one day at a time, 
one day at a time, everything one day at a time and just leaning, leaning, leaning on the Lord. He just got up from his nap. I hear him chattering away. It's so cute when he wakes up from his nap. I just hear him, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 which is so sweet. He's a great napper. My gosh, he's a great napper. <sighs> Hope you enjoyed the life update. Let me know what's been going on in your life. What are you doing? Are you graduating? Are you have another baby? Are you, uh, you know, just doing your job? Or what are you doing this summer? Summer's coming up. It's May. Uh, what are your plans for the summer? I would love to hear. Tell me all about it. That's all for today. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.